Hi readers, welcome back to Reading with Miss Romo. Let's travel to a new country today. This country we've been hearing some songs from, it's called Brazil. Do you remember hearing a little bit about Brazil in music class? Let's learn a little bit more about Brazil. Brazil is the largest country in South America. The name Brazil comes from a tree called Brazil wood. Wow, that is so interesting. Look at that wood. It almost looks like there's blood inside of the wood. That wood is called Brazil wood. Brazil is the only country in South America that speaks a language called Portuguese. I wonder if they're going to teach us a word in Portuguese. Let's see. If they don't, I know a word I could teach you in Portuguese. Brazil is the fifth largest country in the world by both land and population. Wow, that means they have a lot of people living in their country. Look at all of those homes. Looks very crowded, doesn't it? In Brazil, they drive on the right-hand side of the road. Oh, that's different than where we live. Brazil shares a border with all of South American countries except for Chile and Ecuador. That means they're like right in the middle and there's all these countries around Brazil. Brazil covers three time zones. That makes me think and be reminded that earlier they told us Brazil is very big. The Amazon River flows through Brazil. It is the second largest river in the world. Look at all of those green trees all around the Amazon River. That water gives all of this the life that it has. Isn't it beautiful? Well, that makes me think we really have to protect our water and our trees so we can take care of that beautiful Amazon River. Around 60% of the Amazon rainforest is located in Brazil. Look at this beautiful rainforest. So many different animals live in that rainforest. What kind of animal do you think lives in that rainforest? Do you want to take a guess? Hmm. Maybe a tiger? Maybe a snake? What kind of animal do you think lives in the Amazon? Iguazu Falls is an amazing waterfall that can be admired at the Brazilian border with Argentina. Oh, so maybe this is Brazil and maybe on the other side is Argentina. Look at that beautiful waterfall. The climate in Brazil is mostly tropical. Do you know what tropical means? What do you think tropical might mean? Hmm. Do you think in Brazil it's always cold and snowy? Or do you think maybe it's hot and sunny? What do you think tropical means? Brazil is home to a wide range of animals. Ooh, let's learn about some of these animals, including armadillo, tapers, jaguars, and pumas. Here is a picture of an armadillo. Look at his hard shell. He kind of reminds me of a turtle in a way. In Brazil, there are 2,500 airports. Wow, that is a lot of airports. They must be busy with travelers. Football, or some people call it soccer, is the most popular sport in Brazil. Have you ever watched a football team? 
I bet a lot of you have. Over 5,000 people visit Brazil's most popular landmark. Here's a really popular landmark. It's called Christ the Redeemer. Here it is. Or some people call it the Corcovado. Look at how big that city is. And look at how big the Christ is. A lot of people like to go and visit that big statue. Brazilians love their fresh fruits and vegetables like the okra, coconuts, corn, and beans. Mm, me too. I also like to eat corn and beans. I don't think I've ever tried okra before, have you? I wonder what that looks like. Maybe that's okra. I'm not sure. The most favorite dish in Brazil, oh, this is something they like to eat. Let's take a look. Is probably a bean stew made with pork and rice. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder when you look at that picture of that bean stew, does it remind you of anything that you've eaten before? Do you see something on there that you've tried before? I know when I look at this picture, it reminds me of food that I eat at home. I also have arroz with frijoles. This kind of looks like a salsa. I'm not sure if that's a salsa. I'm not sure what that is. That looks really delicious. Brazil has so many things that you can do. It is a country that you should visit one day and explore. Wow, look at that beautiful headdress that she's wearing. It looks like she's celebrating something. Wasn't that so interesting learning about some places in Brazil? Maybe next time we can learn about some people in Brazil. Thank you for joining me, friends. I'll see you again soon.